Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to What Shall We Do Next and today is everybody's favorite day, Spooky Mondays, and today we're going to be taking a look at another scary story. Now this is a story called The Nurse. So the story of The Nurse is a scary urban legend about a girl who has just started working in a hospital when a group of doctors decide to play a cruel prank on her. But enough of the jibber jabber, let's jump right over to the story. The Nurse A girl had just finished nursing school and started working in a new hospital. Although she loved her job as a nurse, she found it difficult to get along with the people she worked with. They were mostly young doctors who had just finished medical school. The problem was that they delighted in pulling pranks on each other. She found it difficult to live with them in the residence next to the hospital because they stayed up late at night and made too much noise. The nurse worked very long hours and needed all the sleep she could get. Whenever she complained about their behavior, the mischievous doctors just laughed in her face and told her to shut her fat mouth. The nurse eventually had to report the young doctors to the hospital manager, and they got in all sorts of trouble. The doctors began to really hate the nurse and spent days devising a plan to get revenge on her. Finally, one of the doctors came up with a really sick prank they could play on the nurse, and the others gleefully agreed to help. That night, they broke into the mortuary in the hospital basement and sawed off the arm of a corpse. Then, they sneaked into the nurse's bedroom and put the severed arm under her bedclothes. They placed it at the bottom of the bed so that when she lay down, her feet would touch it. Chuckling to themselves, they stood around in the hallway, waiting for the young nurse to go to bed. As the girl went into her bedroom, the doctors had to stop themselves from laughing out loud. The nurse was suspicious of their behavior, but she was too tired to care and went to bed, closing the door behind her. The men waited impatiently in the hallway for the nurse to find the severed arm in her bed, but nothing happened. There was no screams, no angry yells, only silence. After a while, the doctors got fed up waiting around and decided to turn in for the night. They assumed that they had placed the severed arm too far down in the bed and the nurse must have not felt it. The next morning when they woke up, the doctors went to check on the nurse. Receiving no answer when they knocked on her door, they turned the handle and went inside. The room seemed completely empty. The doctors searched the nurse's bedroom, and when they opened the closet, they were greeted by a horrible sight. The nurse was curled up in the corner of the closet. Her hair had turned completely white. Her eyes were rolled in the back of her head and she had gone totally insane. Her face looked like it had aged 20 years. And worst of all, she was chewing on the severed arm. And that is the end of that. <sighs> that was pretty creepy. <laughs> I mean, like, I, I don't know what happened to her. Did she get, like, possessed? Or did she just lose her mind? Maybe she got such a scare that she became literally insane. And I, I don't understand, though. Like, I can understand her getting freaked out by the sight of the arm. Or, like, she thinks, the like, some creepy dead arm grabbed her foot while she was asleep. Um, and freaked out and went insane. I can understand that, but what I don't understand is why was she eating the arm? <sighs> oh, what? So she's just like in the closet, just hanging out, you know, in the middle of the night, just having a midnight snack on a human decomposing corpse's arm. 
relatable. It was a really weird story, but it was kind of cool. Um, it was just very unrealistic. Like, obviously, doctors are not gonna, like, I, I feel like that's extremely illegal, like, to just chop off some dead person's arm and, like, put it in somebody's bed. That's very fucked up and sadistic. I can understand one of the doctors being, like, a fucking psychopath and wanting to do that, but the fact that all of the doctor friends agreed to help, that just, it's, it's kind of silly. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the story. If you did, smash a like on it, and I'll see you right back here in the next one. Peace out, and chase your dreams.